Hi everybody, welcome back to Good Night Lighthouse. I'm Miss Dorothy, the enemy to read you another story. And I'm here to read you a story about somebody who's having a really bad day. Have you ever had a bad day where it just doesn't seem like anything goes right? Happens to all of us sometimes. But this book is called Alexander and the Terrible, Horrible, No Good, Very Bad Day. That's a really bad day. Terrible, horrible, no good, very bad day. What could have happened to make his day so bad? We need to get into this book and find out what's going on with Alexander. Are you ready to get into this book with Miss Dorothy? Good. I need you to sit up and listen up. Because here we go. Alexander and the Terrible, Horrible, No Good, Very Bad Day. Written by Judith Viorst, illustrated by Ray Cruz. I went to sleep with gum in my mouth, and now there's gum in my hair. And when I got out of bed this morning, I tripped on this skateboard, and by mistake, I dropped my sweater in the sink while the water was running, and I could tell it was going to be a terrible, horrible, no good, very bad day. Poor Alexander. Things are not working out as he wakes up this morning. At breakfast, Anthony found a Corvette Stingray car kit in his breakfast cereal box. And Nikki found a junior undercover agent code ring in his breakfast cereal box. But in my breakfast cereal box, all I found was breakfast cereal. Poor Alexander. I think I'll move to Australia. Poor Alexander. He's having such a rough morning and he just wants to get out of there. In the carpool, Mrs. Gibson let Becky have a seat by the window. Audrey and Elliot got seats by the window, too. I said I was being scrunched. I said I was being smushed. I said, if I don't get a seat by the window, I'm going to be car sick. No one even answered. I could tell it was going to be a terrible, horrible no good, very bad day. <laughs> Things are not getting better. <laughs> He's all squished up in the back of the car. At school, Mrs. Dickens liked Paul's picture of the sailboat better than my picture of the invisible castle. He didn't draw a picture, and he said it was an invisible castle. At singing time, she said I sang too loud. At counting time, she said I left out 16. Who needs 16? I could tell it was going to be a terrible, horrible, no good, very bad day. Poor Alexander. I could tell because Paul and I wasn't his best friend anymore. He said that Philip Parker was his best friend and that Albert Moe was his next best friend. And then I was only his third best friend. Oh, no. It doesn't help your day when your friends say they like other people better than you. I hope you sit on a tack, I said to Paul. I hope the next time you get a double-decker strawberry ice cream cone, the ice cream part falls off the cone part and lands in Australia. Now he's not saying nice things to his friends. There were two cupcakes in Filler Parker's lunch bag, and Albert got a Hershey bar with almonds, and Paul's mother gave him a piece of a jelly roll that had little coconut sprinkles on the top. Hmm, guess whose mother forgot to put in dessert? He didn't even get dessert in his lunch box. It was a terrible, horrible, no good, very bad day. That's what it was, because after school, my mom took us all to the dentist, and Dr. Fields found a cavity just in me. Come back next week and I'll fix it, said Dr. Fields. Hmm. Next week, I said, I'm going to Australia, said Alexander, who still thinks if he goes to Australia, all his troubles will go away. On the way downstairs, the elevator door closed on my foot, 
And while we were waiting for my mom to go get the car, Anthony made me fall where I was muddy. And then when I started crying because of the mud, Nick said I was a crybaby. And, and, while I was punching Nick for saying crybaby, my mom came back with the car and scolded me for being muddy and fighting. <laughs> he shouldn't have hit his brother, no matter what he did. I am having a terrible, horrible, no good, very bad day, I told everybody. No one even answered. Nobody's listening to him. Poor Alexander. He's having a rough day, but he's also really feeling sorry for himself. So then we went to the shoe store to buy some sneakers. Anthony chose white ones with blue stripes. Nick chose red ones with white stripes. I chose blue ones with red stripes. But then the shoe man said, we're all sold out. They made me buy plain old white ones but they can't make me wear them. Uh-oh, he's getting a very bad attitude about his very bad day. When we picked up my dad at his office, he said I couldn't play with his copying machine. Hmm, but I forgot. He also said to watch out for the books on his desk. And I was careful as could be, um, except for my elbow. He also said don't fool around with his phone. But I think I called Australia. My dad said, please don't pick me up anymore. It was a terrible, horrible, no good, very bad day. Even at dad's office, he kept getting in trouble. There were lima beans for dinner, and I hate lima beans. There was kissing on TV, and I hate kissing. My bath was too hot, I got soap in my eyes, my marble went down the drain, and I had to wear my railroad train pajamas. I hate my railroad train pajamas. Oh my, this day has not gotten any better at all for him. When I went to bed, Nick took back the pillow he said I could keep, and the Mickey Mouse nightlight burned out, and I bit my tongue. The cat wants to sleep with Anthony, not with me. It has been a terrible, horrible, no good, very bad day. My mom says, some days are like that. Even in Australia. Wow, poor Alexander. That was a really, really bad day. He woke up with gum in his hair and that started things off bad. Then he went to school and things didn't work out. And then he used dad's phone and he thinks he called Australia and got in trouble. And then, then there were lima beans for dinner and he got soap in his eyes. Everything went wrong. But mom told him, you know what? Sometimes that just happens. Everybody has bad days sometimes even in Australia. Poor Alexander. He needs to go to sleep and wake up tomorrow to have a better day. Because you know what? Even when you have a bad day, which we all do sometimes, tomorrow's another day. You can try again. Like if you got in trouble at school today, maybe you didn't listen to your teacher and you didn't get a treat or you had to tell mom and dad you got in trouble and you went home kind of sad. It's okay. Tomorrow you can try again because every day is a new day where you can try to have a better day. So don't be discouraged if today was a bad day because tomorrow could be a great day. You never know. Every day is brand new and you just need to get up with a good attitude and try harder. That's what I want you to do tomorrow. Tonight I want you to get into bed, get cuddled up, curled up, ready for a really good night's sleep. Ask God to help you tomorrow. That would be the best thing to do. Start your day out with a prayer. Wake up and say, God, please help me to be good today. Help me to have a really good day. And the best thing you can do to have a great day. Obey and obey right away. And then come back and see Miss Dorothy because I'm going to be sitting right here ready to read another book to you. Bye! Thanks for reading with Miss Dorothy. I hope you enjoyed this book and I hope you'll come back soon to read another. What's your favorite book? Drop Miss Dorothy a note and let me know. I'll go find it and I'll read it to you. Be sure to subscribe, like, and share. I'll see you soon.